All right, what's up guys? So I'm back at it with a weekly update number two. I know I had mixed emotions on the last weekly update as far as the pit bikes and stuff like that, but I figured I'm gonna do one more, feel it out a little bit, maybe do a third one possibly down the road. But um, like anything, I mean, you gotta get used to it, kind of get a feel for it. And I mean, some of you, don't get me wrong, some of you enjoyed it, some of you didn't, but um, for the people that did enjoy it, um, I'm making another one based on the KX125 build because I know I've had a million, million questions on the 125 build. And for this, I'd rather just do a weekly update and clear almost, pretty much almost everything up before the build series videos start, which is going to be in a couple weeks. Because like I I'm going to go over all the parts that I currently have and parts that I'm getting. And I don't really want to go full into it until I have everything because then there's going to be a delay and then I just want it to be smooth and have all the build series videos in line and not have to wait weeks at a time before I get the next parts in so also if you guys haven't checked out the uh, the Santa video that I posted yesterday definitely check that Santa video out it was super super funny super fun to film so I'll leave that link down below in the description or you can just go search on my channel and look up the most recent video my last recent video of me uh, riding in the Santa suit but regardless Let's get into uh, weekly update number two on the uh, 125 here, and I'm gonna go over pretty much the parts that I have for it and the parts that I still need to get for it, along with a few other little things I wanna touch base on. All right, so I have my little cheat sheet here on some parts I wanna touch base on. So first off, um, parts that I already purchased. So first thing is a 2018 KX250F subframe, next being the 18 tank. Um, the next being like a full like bolt kit and stuff so just in case I lose things or I want to replace it with new stuff if it's stripped I have a whole bolt kit for the 125 um, I have brand new radiators because the stock ones were really folded in and junk and all smushed so got new radiators um, I have the stock 18 bars I found on eBay um, an 18 complete seat so the whole seat with the foam with the seat cover basically what's on my 17 now I just bought a, a identical seat to that. This being the uh, left engine case because it was cracked on the left side where you mount the uh, the guard. You guys know what I'm talking about. The whole, the tr basically cracked where you put the uh, the case saver and the guard for uh, your boot or whatever. So that was gonna bother me in the long run. So I just found a, I think it was like 35 or 40 bucks for a left engine case. So I just ordered that on eBay. Um, next being I found 2010 KX250F forks with triple clamps and um, the whole pretty much everything I need for that so I don't have to find separate triple clamps and stuff so I got that whole complete um, suspension Still gonna have to be gone through I don't think it needs new seals but I'm gonna put like five-way oil in it do the right springs maybe revalve it not really sure yet but um, that's that on the suspension. I'm gonna still keep the, the rear shock. I'm not really sure. The rear shock should be fine. I'm just gonna put uh, my weight spring on there and uh, rebuild it. So other than that, put all new bearings in there. I need all new linkage bearings because as you guys could uh, tell when I first got it, the linkage bearings were shot, totally shot. So uh, I gotta get new linkage bearings. Um, I got a new swing arm because on the left side, the chain must have fallen off and it scraped the whole back of it, tail, like all like rounded off. So I wanted it a little bit nicer than that, so I found a, uh, a used a used swing arm on eBay um, for a pretty good deal. I think it was like 40 bucks for a swing arm, so not bad, not bad. And then I had to buy a new chain guide also along with a few other, like the um, chain slider. So regardless, it'll clean up just fine and it'll look like new. Um, next being, the I think that's it for the stuff I already bought. There's all other little bling parts like I got a Outlaw Racing clutch and perch, a few other like blue anodized like aluminum parts here and there, shifter, brake lever, um, a few other minor things. So you guys will have to see on that come the build time. And now coming into parts that I need or still have to order on Motorsport. Um, first one being obviously the 18 plastics, the whole plastics kit. Um, I'm not really sure as far as wheels. So I know there's a good, I don't know, good. I know a lot of people that have them for like budget wheels, the whole Tusk complete wheel set. So I can get a whole Tusk complete wheel set, black rims with blue hubs for about 550 bucks. Like for a complete wheel set, all ready to go with bearings. I mean, 550 bucks isn't too bad compared to some other high name brands where I'm gonna be spending upwards of like 
12, 13, 14, 1500 for a wheel set. And I really don't want to spend that, especially if the Tusk wheel set will be just fine. I'm sure they're going to weigh a little bit more, but as far as having a complete wheel set, especially with black rims, because you really need black rims. And if I didn't get, if I didn't get a whole wheel set, then it just wouldn't, the whole, it basically wouldn't look proper and the way it should be. So I have to get that. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the Tusk wheel set with black rims and blue hubs because that's the only really color combo they have. They might have green, but I think I like blue better than the green. Um, next being obviously a top end kit. The guy supposedly said he, oh, dropping my cheat sheet. Supposedly he rebuilt the top end. I don't really care. I'm going to replace it anyway just to have it fresh just for uh, my sake. And it's only like 150 bucks. So I'm doing a top end kit. I'm not really sure what I want to do as far as the crank. I'm probably going to replace it because I'm already going to have the cases split everything apart so I'm thinking for I can get a I think it's an outlaw racing complete crank in the whole kit basically not with crank bearings but um I can get that whole kit for like 160 bucks I believe so I might just get that or just get another kit with bearings I think bearings are like 40 bucks or somewhere around there so around the 200 mark range for a crank but if I saw another one, I'm not sure what brand, it was like 350 bucks. So regardless, I think I'm gonna replace the crank, have a completely fresh motor, everything, bearings, everything fresh, so I don't have to worry about it and stuff like that. Just so, just in case something does happen, I don't wanna regret it down the line that, oh, I wish I did that, I wouldn't have to deal with this, of it grenading or, I don't know, I just don't wanna have to deal with it. So I might end up replacing that. Um, obviously you gotta get FMF pipes and silencer, probably a shorty. Um, what else? All right. now, other than that, I mean, obviously the a bunch of little parts as far as like grips, um, what else? Other little bling anodized blue parts just to make it look cool. Um, I don't know what else I had in my cart. I had a bunch of other stuff in the cart. I don't remember what my whole cart was on Motosport. Regardless, that gives you a, a good summary of kind of the parts I already have and the stuff that I have to get for it along with I'm going to have to get new foot pegs. Um, new chains, sprockets, the whole, like, pretty much everything's going to get torn off. Everything's going to be redone. It's going to look like a brand new bike, for the most part, a brand new bike. And, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see how it comes out. Hopefully, in the end, it lives up to the expectations of some other 2018 concept bike, KX125 builds I've seen on YouTube. There's only, there's, I've seen Carson Browns, this guy on Instagram that I talked to, and one on trans world one of the youtube channels so there's only three i've seen so and none of them have even went into detail on how to do it not to mention the actual restyle kit to actually put the 18 plastics on there i forgot to mention that because otherwise you wouldn't be able to mount the the 17 and 18 plastics kit on the 125 but um regardless i mean the 125 by the by the end of it should be sick something really really unique that nobody's really seen before nobody's really gone into detail on how to actually do it and step by step how to make a bike how to make like an 01 and 02 and 03 kx 125 look like a 2018 like 250f or 450 so i know a lot of you are anxious i'm anxious myself to get this thing torn apart but um some things came up i got to figure out where i'm going to build it and things like that and where i'm going to take it apart and we're going to put everything, so stay on the lookout probably mid, probably, I want to say mid-January, beginning of January-ish, probably middle of January by the time the first Build Series video comes out, so probably around the 15th of January, maybe sooner, maybe a little bit after. I'm sure I'm going to update you guys on that later on, but uh, that's the time frame right now as far as parts coming in and me trying to get everything figured out on the build so if you guys enjoyed this weekly update video definitely post a comment down below give this video a thumbs up comment down below what other parts you think i should do to the 125 your opinion on parts your opinion on the outlaw racing crank and i don't as far as like trusting that thing if it's not good quality let me know as far as parts what you have on your 125 send me dms i, I know a lot of you did before i couldn't get to everybody but send me dms of your 125 Send me a picture of your bike, your, but especially if you have a KX125 restyled, whatever, send me a picture of it. I'd uh, love to see it, chat with you guys a little bit. Um, follow me on Instagram, it's at Tyler Monaghan. And uh, yeah, send me some DMs of your bikes. And off that, if you guys enjoyed it, like I said, let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video tomorrow or probably Wednesday by the next riding video comes out.
But um, because I'm filming this current day right now, I gotta go home and edit this really fast, get it uploaded on YouTube, so you guys can watch it. So I will uh, catch you guys on the next video.